Welcome back! In today's video, I spent an entire week painting a pong table. You heard me, a week. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna give you guys a quick haul or show you guys the supplies that I'm using for this pong table. So first I have a big $50 bag worth of Michael's materials, which is just paint, paint brushes, and I got a pack of paint. The main color scheme of this is orange and blue so I got bigger paints of orange and blue a huge thing of white and then a pack of a bunch of different colors so it really added up sadly however this is the primer that I use <laughs> I don't know if you can fully see it we just had it at my house so luckily I didn't have to buy that if you are buying primer I think the prices really range I think it might low-key be on the more expensive side but the primer definitely changed the game because this table was actually round to begin with so the coat of primer really set the base white to make it brighter colors and just a nicer finish. For the primer, I did use a roller paintbrush. This seriously cut down the time of putting the primer on in half. So paint, paintbrushes, primer, a roller specifically for the primer, and then the finishing sealer on top. Those are all the supplies that you need. What can I say? I'm an entrepreneur. Just trying to make some money. This is after we've taped it. Now I'm gonna start. Back with another hat update. Now that the primer was all settled, I put the tape down, started painting, oh my God. Started painting and here's what we have so far of the orange and blue color scheme. I want to keep it somewhat symmetrical, so that's why I kind of did like same color, same side, but maybe with the middle, I'll switch up the colors. Not really sure yet, but yeah, this is what we have so far, and I have some designs saved, so. Once I have all the base coats down, then I'm gonna go back tomorrow and paint all the designs, but today I'm just gonna do all the base coats. Hey guys, it's day two, and I just started painting this corner over here, but I haven't really done anything else. I traced an outline of what I want to do on this one, but I have a long way to go, so I'm gonna get started and continue working on this. Hopefully I get a decent amount of these done, but I have work at four, so I can only do so much. I gotta watch Big Brother in Love Island while I do this, otherwise I'll go crazy. doing a terrible job in this vlog because I keep forgetting to film. I think this is like day four or five that I've been working on this table, but let me give you a little update because I haven't in quite a few days. So let's go. So here in this corner, we have drink up smiley face. I found uh, the inspiration on Pinterest. Then we have the UF logo. I still have to go over it a few times. And then I'm probably gonna add something in the background cause it looks a little bland cause I did end up making it a little too small. So I need something to just fill up the space. So I still have to figure that out. Then I have another Pinterest inspired design design over here. I found the poor decisions graphic on Pinterest and then the lightning bolts was a different graphic. It was a wallpaper and I decided to combine the two. Then over here we have the fun heart eye logo. I forget what the brand is called but you know the one. Then in the middle I'm constructing a half blue half orange rolling stones lips and I also got this off of Pinterest, the idea to do half and half and giant lips in the middle. Then we have, I have no idea what I'm doing in this triangle. I accidentally spilled some blue paint, so then I ended up like splashing it everywhere to make it look like a wallpaper, but don't know what the heck I'm gonna do there. Then we have a shoot your shot sticker. Well, it's not literally a sticker, I painted it, but I think it's a red bubble sticker. Also found this on Pinterest. This whole table is inspired by Pinterest. I'm probably going to do the actual gator face in this triangle. So then this is the only thing I didn't find on Pinterest. I have the font on an app. So I typed out gators and I copied the font. And then I just did little whatever you want to call this in the background to make it pop. Here I have this triangle just filled with zebra print. I was going to write something, but I honestly kind of like it just with the zebra print. I don't want to ruin it by doing too much. So here is what the table looks like when you are looking at it in its entirety. I stuck with the color scheme of blue and orange because that is what the customer asked for. 
However, I did take a more pastel vibe to it because I felt like it is more aesthetically pleasing, so. I cannot even begin to explain how busy I have been these past few days between working, getting ready for my vacation this upcoming week, and painting this table. I've had no free time. I mean, literally none. This project has now been taking... Did I start Thursday? It, yeah. It's now day four of this project. To be fair, I probably could have gotten it done a little bit sooner if I didn't have so much going on. If you are planning on painting a Pong table, be warned, it is extremely time and resource consuming. It takes a lot of pain. Be prepared to dedicate an entire week of your life to painting a Pong table. I will say though, this is probably hands down the coolest project I have ever been paid to do. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to see the final product. It's definitely gonna be the most rewarding painting that I've ever done. So yeah, just cause I poured my heart and soul into this project and I'm very, very excited. So see you in the next update. Hey guys, it is one in the morning and I'm still working on this. Not gonna lie, I'm really tired right now, but I have to power through because I'm working tomorrow. So I'm not going to have much time tomorrow. And I also still need to pack for my trip because I literally have not touched the suitcase. So anyway, I'm gonna give you a quick table update to show you what I've done. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like much, but the things that I've done have taken so long. So right here, I started the outline and got all of the base colors down for the gator logo. I didn't know what to do with this, so I just pulled up a picture of the Corona logo and copied it. So corona i painted in the base for the lips now i just have to go in and do the detail of the white and black lines those are the only updates i made and believe me this this and that just took all of those hours we are working very hard out here and i'm probably gonna have to wake up early to keep working on this it's a great day to spend all my free time painting a pong table again i'm gonna give you a new table tour now that it is daylight <laughs> So I decided to paint over this because I made the logo way too small. So I'm gonna make it a fresh canvas and redo the logo, but make it a lot bigger. It is one in the morning. So it's officially July 20th and I've officially been working on this table for seven days. No, that's not correct. Six days. I don't know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. I'm going to give you an update. I just got back from work and I have to work on this because it needs to be done by tomorrow because I leave Wednesday. So I need to finish it now because I have so much I need to do tomorrow in preparation for my trip, so yeah. so excited it's finally starting to come together and okay fine i'm gonna show you the updates so uf logo is still working on that but look at how this came out i squeezed in the ha i outlined everything and it looks like a graphic now so i'm super obsessed with this triangle she wanted me to add a slogan that said who the fuck i think it's an inside joke so i added that in the corona font and the corona crown and it kind of just made this space much more filled out and I'm trying to figure out if i should add more to this one i feel like it's a bit empty but yeah, I really like how those little additions change the look of the table. Oh, hello. It is day six or seven. I don't know. I lost track. Anyway, I am doing the absolute last finishing touches on this Pong table and sealing it. And then it's ready to go. So I feel amazing because this table has truly taken a chunk of my life away. So I'm going to do show you guys a quick table tour. Not much has changed since the last one, but I'm going to show you what it currently looks like. 
So here on this end of the table, we have the poor decisions graphic with lightning bolts in the background. Then here we have the UF logo. I'm going to be writing gators in the magazine font and then making some stickers there. Then we have a drink up graphic. We have the hearts with eyes, yeehaw over there, the Rolling Stones lip, the Corona logo, and then something that they asked custom for their table. It's an inside joke. Shoot your shot with some cheetah print in the background, the gators logo, for University of Florida, Gators graphic, and zebra print. And that is the table, guys. It is basically all done. I'm so excited to be done with this because it's exhausting. And I'm also gonna go ahead and take the paint off soon, so I will update in a minute. foggy and I look a little bit gross because it's so humid out right now. But I want to show you guys I finished the table. All I have to do is put the sealant on top and then it is good to go but let me show you the final product. Missing someone. 